All right, tomorrow you're going to be working with expression maths and algebra tiles. Now, algebra tiles, as you watched in the last video, that if you have a little tile like this, it's called a unit tile. I can't remember what the color is, but uh, it's a color other than red. I think it's blue, but if you have the blue tiles, uh, those are called positive tiles. So if I have five blue algebra tiles, uh, the unit tiles, that's the equivalent of five. If here they're listed as clear ones, anytime you see clear in the book, that means negative. Uh, the algebra tiles, uh, in order to represent what, with an algebra tile, those would be the red ones. So, three red algebra tiles, or in this case, three clear algebra tiles, uh, the unit tiles, would be negative three. Now, the long, uh, the short long rectangles, we have X and Y tiles. This X one, I don't know if you can quite tell, but this X one is a little shorter than the Y one. A blue X tile is a positive, so in this case we have one, two, three, three positive X tiles. We call that 3X. The longer one, and I think these are normally purple actually, uh, but this one is a negative one because it's on the clear side here, so this would actually be a red one. Uh, those would be two negatives, so we have negative 2Y. If that's all confusing, we'll try and uh, go over that again tomorrow so you're all clear on that again. So. Up here, this is equal to negative 3. This is equal to negative 3. How do we use the expression mat to make both of those equal to negative 3? Well, down here where it's like adding 3 negatives, so which is plus negative 3, down here it's like subtracting positive 3 or minus positive 3. Okay? So let's see how we can use this to build a couple for ourselves. Let's do the first one. Build two different expression uh, representations for negative 2x. Well, an x tile would be this tile right here. I need two negative x's. So, if I put the positive x up here, that's having a positive x, so I don't want it here. I can take and instead, I can move that down here. And I can subtract one positive. But up here, I'm subtracting not one, but two positives. So I need to grab a second one. So this right here would be the same as minus 2x. However, we can do this a different way. What if I want to put it on the plus side? Okay, well, instead of grabbing a positive tile, I would grab a negative x tile. So there would be plus negative 1x. If I grab a second one up here, that would be plus negative 2x or minus 2x. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's get these out of the way because we're going to do letter B now. I could be whistling the Jeopardy song right now as I do this. But I'm not going to because I won't put you through that kind of pain and misery to listen to me whistle. Alright, second one. Build 3x minus negative 4. Okay, well, probably the easiest way of doing this. We have positive 3x. How can we represent that? We have a positive 1x here. We have a positive 2x here. And now we have a positive 3x. The minus sign right here. For me, that generally means you drop down to the minus side of the expression mat. We have minus negative 4x, which means I'm going to subtract away 4 of these right here. I'm going to subtract away 4 negative unit tiles. So this is how I would express that on, on a mat. However, what does that truly mean? You should all know that minus a negative, right up here, means truly plus a positive. You change it to plus the opposite. Well, how does that work? How does this here change into that? Well, we know the three x's over here. This is just going to be an equivalent mat here. We know the three x's will stay the same. So that part I can just transfer over. However, if I want to move these up to the top side here, to the positive side, how do I do that? In order to get these up to here, whatever I do to this level, I must do to this level. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other. So, if I want to move these and get them off this level and move them to that level, I need to do what's called zero these out. In order to do that, I would need to add four positives. One, two, three, four. But remember, whatever I do to one level, 
I must do to the other level. So if I add 4 on the bottom, I must add 4 on the top. 3 and 4. Now, what do these 4 negatives and 4 positives do? They cancel out. So these are all going to be gone as they cancel each other out. Which means the ending equation, when I'm all done, is going to be 3x plus 4. And give me just a couple more seconds here to get that done. And that's how we get from 3x minus negative 4 on an equation mat to 3x plus 4 on an equation mat. Alright? You try a couple now. Okay? Here's a couple. I want you to build expression mats. I want you to build negative 3x plus 4. Then I want you to build minus, in parentheses, positive y minus 2. What would that look like on an expression mat? Then I want you to do minus y minus 3. What would that look like on an expression mat? And then finally, 5x minus the sum of 3 minus 2x. I want you to pause the video right now and draw this out. Figure this out. This is going to be a part of the notes you're going to show me. Draw out what you got. And the reason I want you to draw this out, your answer may be completely accurate, but it might be different than the answer I've got. So I want to see what you came up with and then kind of compare that to what I came up with. That doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that you read this a little differently than I did. And that's the beauty about algebra. You can, um, more than one person can get to the right answer using a variety of ways. Go ahead and pause it right now. All right, we're back. Now, your answer should look like something like these. Here's what they did for this one. The minus 3x. They put down minus 3x. Plus 4. The plus was up here. The plus 4. Okay? For this one, minus. They went down to the minus level. And then in parentheses, they had a positive y and a minus 2. For the third one, on the minus level, they had, oh, look at that. They didn't do that on the minus level. They did a plus, a negative y, which was fine. And then they had minus positive 3. You could have had minus positive y and 3 down here. That's why I mean there's multiple ways of doing this. The 5x here, they represent as 5 positive x's on the top. They went to the minus level minus 3, which is the positive 3, and two negative x's. If you did not have that exact thing, that's all right. Show it to me in class tomorrow. We'll make sure you're doing it right. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow in class. Hopefully, if this didn't make sense, maybe watch it again. If it did, have a good night.